UBC Engineering competition ever since I started here at UBC Vancouver. It, it, I initially started in the junior design, then I advanced into the consulting, and I, then I uh, proceeded into communications. It's the one that I get to debate, and that's the most tangent one. Then there's the communications, a 45 minute long presentation. Then there's consulting, obviously there's lots of consulting engineers. We just competed in uh, engineering consulting, so uh, we were given a problem. Uh, in this case, it was providing advice to uh, an advocacy group on how best they could uh, combat uh, global e-waste. And uh, we won. We're pretty pleased with that. Uh, very, very surprised given the caliber of talent here. And then there's innovative design. Innovative design is the only one that you really have to make beforehand. And that's if you were tinkering with something, you made something in your basement, or maybe you made something in design course, and you're actually thinking of like putting it to market. Then there are the big design projects: senior design, junior design. And it's really trying to test out design principles and whether it works or not. So actually, whether it works is a very small portion of the marks. The biggest portion is during the presentation, whether they can actually explain what type of physics, what type of engineering went on behind it. The UBC Engineering Competition is a, is a diverse competition that covers not just the design aspect of engineering, but also the communications and the, the presentation aspect of engineering and communicating our ideas to the public.